Hey YouTube, Mark Gunnison here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the AT Tiny, which is the tiny <laughs> microprocessor in the middle of the video here. And these are some of the microprocessors I've been working with. The ones on the on the uh, right are Arduinos, uh, Nano at the bottom there. And then on the left, there's a Raspberry Pi, a Pico, I think, or something they call that. And then an ESP32, which I've done a fair amount with. And then, the ESP8266 uh, on the bottom on the left. Then the one at the top is a seed, and that's a pretty small board. Underneath that is a, another ESP8266. Uh, and then the little chip is the AT Tiny. Um, the advantage of the AT Tiny is it only costs a couple bucks on Amazon. And at DigiKey, if you're just buying one, it's a dollar seventy or something right now. So pretty good deal. Where a lot of the other boards are uh, ten bucks or so. Um, although the ESP8266 in the center, which I've been using in a number of projects recently, uh, it's just a little over two dollars. So a pretty good deal. So, but on this video, we're going to talk about that little teeny tiny thing that's called tiny. Okay, so here we are over at the bench, and here's the uh, the AT Tiny chip, and the like. Here's the uh, ESP8266, and you can see the ESP comes with a bunch of uh, peripherals added to the board so that it can work with the USB. This one doesn't have it. And so you're going to have to either uh, program it using uh, another Arduino or something, or just pick up on it, one of these uh, programming boards. And uh, I got the board and two of the chips for around 20 bucks, maybe just a little bit over, I can't remember on Amazon. Oh, got it in there backwards. And um, I just started playing with these and I'm kind of having fun. <laughs> One of the, the big negative is there's not very much memory in this and it only has four IO pins and they're just regular uh, digital IO pins. Um, but in order to program it, you stick it in this and you can hear the computers recognizing it. And then uh, you just uh, program it just like you would a regular old Adreno. And because I used to program uh, C++, uh, I, I like using, uh, what is it, Visual Code? Is that what it's called? Uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, and then uh, I just use an Arduino header in order to get the program. So there's a little program that I wrote here just to kind of demonstrate. Uh, I've got uh, defined uh, three LEDs. Uh, red, yellow, and blue, gave the pin uh, numbers, four, three, and two, uh, built in a little delay. Now, one thing with uh, this chip is that it has an internal clock that is that is very slow <laughs> compared to other uh, chips. So you can see here, I've got a delay of 50. If you had a delay of 50 on any other board, it'd be flashing so quick you wouldn't be able to see it. But it turns out to be, a pre as you'll see, a decent flash. So then uh, set it up just like you would with uh, regular old Adreno, and then I've just run uh, some code here where it turns the LEDs on and off at, with a with a delay, uh, and it just runs through a switch with uh, multiple cases just so I can alter what's happening. So uh, let's go ahead and program that into the chip, and so it's compiling, and there you can see it's uploading doesn't take very long and so there it goes so now let's see how it works so we'll yank it out of there oops just bent some of the some of the yeah. okay as i'm trying to figure this out uh, here's a, a copy of the data sheet and it's actually a pretty impressive chip it's got a 10-bit uh, adc along with uh, spi serial ports and internal uh, clock uh, uh, interrupts, and <laughs> it's a pretty impressive little chip for uh, being so tiny and simple. All right, so we stick that in there and get our polarity right. All right, so get it plugged in, and we'll turn that on, and you can see it's flashing as it's working through the delays, and then I've got it set up so 
as it goes through the switch statement, uh, it alters the, the lights. And uh, it's kind of cool because they can do this with just, just the one trip chip. I mean, I don't need anything else. So just as an example, we'll turn that off. Uh, I had built the same thing, my wife wanted a little thing that uh, we have an alarm on the house, but uh, the control panel is up in our bedroom and she wanted something over by the front door that flashed lights so it looked like there was an alarm. <laughs> so uh, so I built this using a uh, 555 and then a decade uh, counter and so we'll turn that on and you can see it's flashing and uh, uh, but to to build this circuit, I needed two chips uh, of two more resistors, a uh, couple of capacitors. So quite a bit more work. Plus, it took me a while to design this. Uh, then, uh, and it took you know to to do the AT Tiny. It took me. I don't know, 15 minutes or something. So anyway, uh, I think the AT Tiny is a pretty a pretty cool uh, chip, uh, pretty inexpensive. Um, I'm not sure what I'll use it for, just because most of my projects tend to be a little bit uh, more complicated. Um, but uh, there you go, kind of a quick review of the AT Tiny. As always, thanks for watching.